Pamela Jones is back, and she's going to talk about her uh, season seven and the progress of her near-fatal brain aneurysm. The last, well, first of all, welcome home. Good Thank welcome you. back here. It's nice in to see home. you again in our home. Uh, the last time you were here, uh, we talked about your brain aneurysm at 23 years old, mm -hmm. and this month is National Awareness uh, Aneurysm Awareness Month. Yes. So you're here to talk about what happened, okay. and yeah. where you are right now. How, how was your health? that day yeah. for people who yes. weren't here the first time you came in? Okay, I'm gonna quite a story. Yes. Very quick as possible. Um, I'll tell you, for two weeks I had a very bad headache. Uh, I thought it might have been sinus because we have those problems in my family. Um, the day that it happened, the headache was worse than it had been. No medicine was taking care of the pain. I had taken just about everything. What kind of pain did you have? It felt like a rubber band was strapped around my brain and somebody just kept pulling and pulling oh. and pulling. And the morning I woke up, it was excruciating. I don't think anyone has felt this pain unless they've had an aneurysm. Um, so when I woke up, I felt the sensation of having to urinate really bad. And when I got up, I had no balance. I was walking on my toes, went to the restroom, sat down, nothing came out. Got up, the head was like, like getting tighter and tighter and tighter. I looked at myself in the mirror and I hit the floor. I heard this voice saying, get up, get up, get up, get up now, Tamala, get up. I got up. When I got up, the whole right side of my body was numb. So my first instinct <laughs> was, I was on a different show at the time, um, was to call my boss and tell her, I have to go to the hospital. Something's wrong with me. I don't know what it is. I didn't know what was, what was going yeah. on. Uh, Were you living alone at the time? There was no one there to help you? No one was there. Okay, please continue. Wow. So um, she says, come to work. We'll get a set doctor to come look at you. It's the last day of shooting for this season. You have to come. We can't, you know, we can't gamble on this. So I drove to work with my left foot, my left arm very slowly. Got there. My arm was stuck in this position as if I'm offering my arm to you. It would not bend. I had no control over the right side of my body. So. They're cracking jokes because they're not really sure what's going on with me. They're still pain in your head at this point. Pain feels like my skull's touching my brain. And Why'd you get through the day cold. like that? The doctor yeah. wanted to know the same thing. Oh. Once oh. I finally got to the doctor's office after a full day of working, they threw purses, jackets, everything over my arm because it would not bend. Get to the doctor. He didn't know how I was walking, talking, or even still alive. And he said that I had hemorrhaged. He ran some more tests, MRI, CAT scan, and the blood was like about the size of a 50 cent piece on the left side of Good my brain. Heavens. So it ruptured. And wow. he said, most people die from this. So you, you have a strong will to live. And he said, once that blood dries up, you'll get the feeling back and your right side. I hope the people you worked with that day apologized to you. They were very yeah. sorry. Yeah. Wow. I um, really but you yeah. know, I, I, you know, I just kind of joke when I say the show must go on. No, that's. <laughs> but right. I mean, this is a circumstance that there should be some takeaway from this. You know, I mean, and this is the awareness month. What do you want people to know from your experience? Do people live through something like this? A typically? lot of people die from uh, br ruptured brain aneurysms. What a is a brain aneurysm exactly? It is a blood clot on your brain. The blood clots and it, it grows and grows and grows. It needs to be removed. It's like the circulation of your brain is being stopped by something that's clogged. Mm -hmm. So once it gets clogged, it becomes a nuisance to the brain. It's like stopping the flow right. of, the, right. of everything. And then if it pops, that's more dangerous. So what I want my message to be is uh, aneurysms, health overall, has no age limit. Aneurysms happen to babies. They happen to young women like myself, and they happen to old people. We always want to say, oh, that's something that only happens to old people. You should take care of your health from day one. Your body is the oldest computer in the world. It has memory. So for me, I have to always be on top of, I had this, but I have to prevent it. So I changed my lifestyle. I changed the way that I eat. Um, I still have fun. I have one day of fun where I'll have a martini. I don't like just rule my life because that right. happened yeah. and just let that rule it. But um, I get shots of B12 once a week. That was something that the neurologist at Cedars told me to get while I was healing as well as the medicine he put me on. Um, you just really take care of yourself. Well